Hello guys, the coast is clear, the coast is clear. Last time we left off and everything was weird, my bed was kind of blocked or whatever. I didn't even know what happened, I assumed, whoop, leg spike, whoop, leg spike again. I assumed we had some kind of leg spike again, some kind of weird wine. <laughs> Vine growing issue, but seemed to be all right. I re-slept in the bed. Maybe it was an issue with Minecraft 1.4.3. We're running that at the moment, and that's the reason I don't have the texture pack on yet. Um, I just had no time to do it, guys. It's like it's even cool that I found time to record a bit here on the Minecraft today. I wanted to go over um, to Avidia's place and. Um, keep on working on the iron golem farm a bit um, glowstone I'll take that with me let's put that stuff in here I can sort it out later need to grab me some ender balls yeah because if you haven't heard it but I think most guys know I'm moving at the moment um, me and my girlfriend were, were looking for an apartment for a long long time for a month and now finally we got one and now the big day came the big week um, the moving week because yeah, there's some renovations and things I have to do at the new place um, Like I don't know I have to make build a kitchen actually so Yesterday, you know, we had to rent a transporter and then we went to um, like the media mark that's a huge um, electronic shop company thing here in Germany we bought a stove and a dishwasher and all kinds of stuff and then today we go Oh, random crash upon entering the nether here. So today we went to a Baumarkt, it's called in Germany, like, you know, um, hardware store. But in Germany it's a big deal, like homework, like, you know, home improvement and stuff. It's a big deal in Germany. Everybody is like going crazy and we have these super huge stores. If you enter these, guys, I tell you, like you walk around in these places for hours, you can't fight Jack. Like I was looking for some spotlights and then we needed a new sink and you know like the water thing and and some tubing and whatnot for the dishwasher and a new I don't even know in German you call it Arbeitsplatte you know like your work area you put on top of your kitchen and then I had to go and rent tools because I need to I didn't have like a special saw I need to kind of put the things together and I, it was like and I was running around this freaking thing for hours. Time was ticking <laughs> because we had the car rented and basically spending all my money <laughs> on the freaking moving thing. I knew it's gonna uh, ruin me and it actually did. So at the moment I don't even <laughs> I don't care. I'm just trucking along. I got some of the FTL Fast than Lights episode up and running. And I pre-recorded that to cover the week. And yeah, I will not probably not be able to get a world tour done before towards the weekend, Friday or so, I assume, or maybe even Saturday. And I have one or two more episodes as farming simulator done, so I can put these up. So you guys have some stuff going on my channel, but the Minecraft stuff will be a bit lower this week. Just can't help it, guys. It's it's crazy, and I think you understand. I mean, moving sucks. I don't know how you see it. I mean, I think quite a lot of you guys maybe live with your parents, but I also know, you know, we got older folk watching, which is also, uh, that's also pretty cool. Um, I hear, for example, um, dads watching with their kids, or um, some dude lately posted a comment, sadly, I forgot the name, he said he's maybe my oldest fan, he said he's 50 years old or older, and he's, he's a total noob, and he, he likes to learn the technical stuff. Oh, is that a sound glitch? Oh my lord, that's a horrible sound glitch. You hear that? You turn down the volume. So yeah, pretty cool. What did I just, yeah, I was talking about people watching. <laughs> so yeah, 
I'm happy, you know, trying to keep it coming, but hard at the moment, personal life. So, and I think a lot of you guys share that experience. As I said, most of you guys for sure live with your parents, maybe, you know, I know a lot of young kids watching, but the older folk probably know how annoying moving is. Like, you know, we didn't, we don't move to a huge place. We don't come from a huge place and we don't go to a huge place. Um, just regular apartment, not too big, just an additional room in there now. So where was Avidia's um, place? Dual place farm, let me quickly check. So it's not like a super huge like uh, moving endeavor, but still, yeah, it's, it's some work. And yeah, it's, uh, I hate it. And then also, like for the first time, um, I kind of um, went to a company that helped me out with carrying the huge stuff. You know the problem with my knee? I had the surgery and stuff, um, yeah, suffer from that uh, destroyed knee from my 15 years of pro basketball that just is haunting me now. Still have to get the second surgery, but at the moment it's holding up, so I don't have to run around too much, but I'm not able to carry around uh, like heavy stuff anymore, so I'll kind of um, went to a company that helped us out and well <laughs> for me it was kind of weird you know normally I was that hands-on guy doing the stuff myself and I feel felt really weird you know I'm 35 years old that still kind of young and there were, were these two dudes sh showing up and uh, maybe 50 years old and they were like you know carrying all my heavy stuff up the stairs to the new apartment which is in the second or third floor actually so quite a ways to go there's it's an old building from the 1910 and um, i like that a lot it has charm i will show you in a vlog when everything is set up and yeah they were carrying the stuff up there and i was really feeling weird because i could not really help out you know I, I was paying them no big deal and it was not cheap and all but still was an odd feeling so yeah kind of tried to pitch in a bit a bit um, that of course <laughs> ruined my knee again. Now I'm like have to cool it with ice. Half of our stuff is already moved. Um, half of our stuff, um, no, not like some stuff is left in my old apartment. I'm right there where my computer, the whole recording setup, everything is still there because yeah, guess what? <laughs> Next trouble with moving and man, this tunnel is long. <laughs> A video, what the? I don't remember it was that long. Um, Oh yeah, it was. I had to walk it. <laughs> so yeah, of course the internet service provider messed it up. Of course, I did, I did inform them like weeks in advance that I was moving, gave him the new address as soon as we knew what was up. And of course, <laughs> of course, they failed. Oh yeah, that's another sand generator down here we made a while ago. Tried some things out. I think at the moment it I didn't I don't think we have fixed it yet around here and there's the other one upstairs. So yeah, of course they messed it up. Um <laughs> never showed up, never heard back from them at the moment. So now I um, have to do tons of phone calls, get in touch with uh people. I think that one is fixed by now. Yeah. Just have to change the delay a bit. Yeah, and talk to them and they say, why, what What did go wrong? The, the, the guy was there, everything should be installed, all is fine. I was like, huh? Oh yeah, I worked on that one a little bit lately. Just finished that. You guys suggested to use the stairs down there. I liked that a lot and implemented that now. Got some on me, wanted to do that over there. Do I have some dirt? Nope. So, <laughs> yeah, of course it didn't work, guys, of course, you know. And what happened is, like, the guy actually did show up, but of course he went to the completely wrong house, like, to a random house. I think our, like, um, number is, like, 52 in the street, right? And he went to number 12 and just <laughs> went into the basement because they didn't have the, the special box and stuff installed you need for the high-speed internet and just <laughs> went to a random house that, yeah, he, somebody new is moving in and he's uh, supposed to install the cable thing in there. People there said, all right, should be cool. So now they installed, the, I don't know how many hundreds of uh, dollars um, <laughs> thing in the basement of a random house, not even, yeah, so... I don't know. 
when I heard that, I, I, I was like, I c first I couldn't believe it, and then I just found it hilarious. I mean, come on, guys, that is, <laughs> that is pretty cool. Just go to a random house and say, yeah. So I, I will remember that, you know, you just go <laughs> to a random house and say, hey, I'm this and this guy, Let, can I please go to your basement and install something there? It is a bomb, but um, don't worry. Or what, uh, it's so weird, I was totally uh, amazed by that. So yeah, funny thing is, as I have this um, this business contract with my um, internet service provider, like nothing special. The only thing it's like it's kind of protected. Um, there's special protection on the thing, and they guarantee me to be online all the time, and they guarantee me certain speeds. And if they fail to deliver that, um, they have to um, yeah make up for that. It's pretty expensive. But it's worth because worth the money or the worth the investment as um, really relying on on a reliable internet connection. So um, they promised me everything will work out. At the moment, they didn't come across with a like an offer saying, "Okay, I'm sorry, you're paying so so much money, and we are not even able to make sure you can like move." Although you informed us weeks in advance, so. <laughs> Now I'm excited to see what they will do, uh, but yeah, it seems worldwide. I was talking to some of the uh, fellow Minecrackers, you know, uh, for, you know, we got some crew members from kind of all over the world, and <laughs> yeah, everywhere the same. If you have to deal with internet service providers, phone companies, and similar electricity, and all that, it is basically completely ridiculous. What did I use over? There, I think clean stone, uh, the, the better sandstone, I mean. Yeah. So, well, that is the status quo at the moment with all the moving. Um, but over and all, of course, you know, I've been rambling a bit about all the stress. That's the normal stuff people do when they're moving. They're just annoyed. <laughs> But over and on, of course, I'm looking forward to the new apartment. Um, it's in the city again. Right now I lived a bit outside. Uh, it was because of the job situation before. But now as things changed a little bit and my girlfriend also works now. She finished her studies. So we have a little bit more money. And of course, um, her um, job is kind of closer to the city. So it just makes sense to move the rent. It's a, a bit more, um, but yeah, it's not like killing us or something, not want to take, take any crazy risks. Um, in Germany, it's a little bit different. Um, in the United States, a lot of people um, actually do rent houses um, or buy houses even. I know, of course, there was a crisis lately on the American um, yeah, real estate market and all. But um, it's a little bit different here in Germany. Like if you buy a house over here, it is some kind of a lifetime investment. My, like a lot of people see um, their houses as some kind of their res money when they retire or something. They Maybe they need the money then to go to a retirement home or whatnot. You know what I mean? Oh, I hope I don't spoil too much around here. <laughs> and yeah... Um, so it's freaking expensive, like a halfway decent house, you'd be looking into half a million euros or something. Like, and then you, you'd be getting like standard, not, not like, you know, mansion style. And I know the real estate prices in the United States are um, way lower. So it's kind of a different thing. So in general, like normal people, like I, <laughs> you know, with normal financial situation, in general, don't buy houses because they just cannot afford it. Is or rent a house. Renting a house would also be very expensive. If you look at the cost of these houses, of course, renting them would also be fairly expensive. Of course, it depends also on the region. I think you know there's always fluctuations in that all over the world. I think living in California would for sure be more expensive than, I don't know, so yeah, California probably is one of the more, more expensive states in the United States. Um, so depends a bit, but in general people would not 
just rent houses. And yeah, so that's why we have this apartment. And yeah, I have my gaming room in there, a separate room finally. Before I was still kind of occupying our living room and it was really annoying, you know. I was putting up a lot of content and constantly being here at my computer setup. And of course, you know, my girlfriend um, suffered from that because <coughs> sure we had another room and she kind of had a little office area there and everything. But now we have a, a good, li a nice living room, uh, a nice kitchen and also I have this additional room where I can put up my computer and stuff and make a nice gaming room. <coughs> and I want to have a maybe a green, green screen in there eventually. Um, I have to buy that stuff. All oh, that will take some time. need to save up some money for that. And eventually then, slowly but surely, get more into live streaming, use the face cam here and there. And yeah, live streaming would be something I would be interested in, but it was just a bit yeah, bad to do with the situation I had here, you know. When I did live stream, or when I do live stream, it um, mostly turned into uh, some kind of a, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, <coughs> long-term session thing. And now we need to eyeball that somehow. I think I will just make another um, walkway down here to make it easier. So, you know, you have to imagine, I sit here in the living room for two, three hours, do live streaming, girlfriend can't talk or has to, can't talk, but you know what I mean? You have to, has to be um, yeah, a bit quiet and because it's annoying if you constantly, if you would have somebody in the back constantly or whatnot. And also, of course, on the other side, she maybe, you know, she comes home from work and also maybe wants to have some, some quiet time and uh, relax a bit because she works as a journalist and it's a stressful job, you know. Got a lot of work hours and then she's go out and interviewing people and whatnot. There can also be people that get really, <laughs> that annoy you a lot, but you have to, yeah, you know how it is in the working world. And so I have to respect that, of course. And that's why the new apartment for all of, for everybody, kind of, for you, the viewers, it will help, of course, and my girlfriend and me. So overall, it's a very happy, happy thing, or good thing that we're actually moving to the new apartment. The only thing that suffers a bit uh, at the moment is I cannot, I had no time at all to do anything in the world tour, for example. Normally today, there would be world tour day. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Don't do that. Normally there would uh, would be world tour day today and I was not able to put one out. Kind of <coughs> agonizes me a bit. Um, but the world tour episodes take a lot of time because I want to show some good progress in these and on the Minecraft here, you know, there's lots of projects we're working on at the moment. The Iron Golem Farm also started to work with ESO a bit um, on our Netto Willy, uh, Netto Willy, Netto Will Witter Skelly setup. So, Netto Willy. <laughs> Netto Willy, that's a nice word for them. How about that? Come on, guys, let's introduce that as an official term. We got Ender Balls and we got Netto Willies. <laughs> I know what a Willy is, I know. You might be pretty surprised how many slang words I know in English and stuff and some inside and weird words. <laughs> uh, the thing is, like as I played basketball, I mentioned that quite, a, quite often, um, and like main, main guys were always from the United States, uh, most of them Afro-Americans, and you know, they got their, their slang, slang going on, and if you... Yeah, you you will be get joked on all day long if you don't know your your slang. So picked up quite a lot uh, from that time. Some people are really surprised, and of course, yeah, I'm also watching the U.S. TV shows all the time, and you can pick up a lot. But also, I realized today I'm really talkative, ain't I? <laughs> also, I realized. Um, while I watch um, other YouTubers here or Minecraft buddies like B Dubs or others, you know I often pick up words from them as well. As I am, of course, no native speaker. Um, it, it's kind of natural, you know. You you learn new words from people you watch or you you regularly watch or you whatever. Some t I also um, realized lately I was using the Canadian um, a after. 
after a question as easel, <laughs> you know, like, um, so we, I think it's good, eh? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what people in Canada say. And I think I picked that up from him because, okay, we got some other Canadian members, but ESO is basically the dude I watch the most from Team Canada. So, and I don't think Beef says, eh? Or does he? I don't even know. I have to check. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> cool to know. Yeah, so that's, that's that. That's where the English comes from because I um, often wanted to um, yeah, talk about that because often some people ask me, of course I make my mistakes, you know, and sometimes I think I could, sometimes I assume, you know, I could be way funnier um, in German because, you know, I just have the, yeah, way more words to use and more funny insider jokes you could do. So sometimes I really feel I know a lot of words, but still I don't live in the United States. I'm nor I sp did spend half a year in the United States once in Oregon playing basketball and stuff, but and doing some studies at my university days or in my university days. But still, I never really got a chance to live in the in the yeah United States for a long time to really get a hold of the culture and the insider stuff. Um so yeah, that's a little bit of a handicap some at once at one side, but also it kind of helps sometimes because a lot of people also say they like the accent and the weird stuff I say sometimes. It took me kind of half a year to learn to pronounce vines. Halfway correctly I always said vines, vines and I didn't for me it just sounded the same. <laughs> so yeah. It is it is what it is. Um, I probably in English, I might be probably never be able to be as funny as B dubs or, or so. I think you know, it's just not possible. Um, it's the the spontaneous things that you know just pop up in pop up in your head, and you you don't have them in your repertoire or in your repertoire. That's another word. <laughs> I don't even know if you know that in English. I think, but you don't you don't have them like slide off hand like boom there it is. I can make jokes and fu say funny things, but it's more like coincidence when I say something stupid. <laughs> or it sounds stupid, more like that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Man, we're covering a lot of topics today and we're getting some stuff done. Just want to finish that. And then the first two basic cells are done. Then we need to do the villager holding cells. Let me grab some more stairs here villager holding cells and then put two more cells on there maybe one or two at least I would say if we have six cells in total we should do pretty good oh there's a workbench up there did I put it there I think I'm 99% sure I finished that over there and partially worth working here and the rest was done by Avidia now. I think. Yeah. I still, the glowstone I had in my inventory is from Avidia, so I have to put it in his chest so when he comes around he can put in the second floor. Yeah, second floor is missing and water um, and glowstone. Yeah, we're making progress. It's quite the build. Um, it's doable. Like, if you really pull through, you know stick with it should be able to do it um, in a day or so but as we all have like our normal lives and schedules and stuff and moving to different places <laughs> kind of a it's kind of a bit slower at the moment but yeah I think we'll pick up some some pace soon okay let's use the cobble here for scaffolding for the rest and then we have another cell done in the world tour, I kind of now um, people are showing off some good, good um, with the skeleton farm designs, and um, I see some. There was some discussion. Like JL showed something lately, and um, Zizuma Void. Um, basically, then there was like even people starting saying um, JL stole ideas from Zizuma Void. That is funny because I know JL and Zizuma Void regularly talk and are good friends as well. 
uh, Zizuma Wade even commented on the video saying it's crap, it's a totally different design. But the main thing with these designs is you have to prepare a nether perimeter. And that is that is the thing. You can vary the designs. I'm not, you know, one of the guys who says this is the design, the super best. Same goes for the Enderman farm, you know. The one with the pressure plate still works great. We run that here on the server, but by now there's updated versions with trip wires. I use one in the world tour with trip wires and whatnot, but in the end, you know, it, it they all achieve the goal. You get a lot of XP a l quick. And so the matter of fact is about the Wither Farms, it's all about creating a perimeter. If you create an epic perimeter, take out all the blocks, spawnable blocks in a certain area, big enough, maybe 300 by 300 square around your fortress, you will see spawns no matter what. You can use different designs. So that's one thing I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm really like tempted, you know, to pull it off on the Minecraft and on my world tour. But I'm afraid because people always get bored by the Nether projects, you know. I actually I got the night vision potions ready now in the world tour show, so visibility should be cool, but I know people get bored by it. So give me feedback about that. Shall I really attempt to go for a Nether perimeter or would you be like, how, what would be a good idea with that project? Because it will like occupy my workforce like for a while. That's for sure. And now, talking about workforce, let's do the, let's put the glowstone back. Does he have a glowstone chest? And then I have to shift my attention back. Girlfriend is looking at me with some boxes. <laughs> well, that needs to be taken care of. Oh yeah, let's put it back there. And I think I'll stick around here. I'll keep on working here. Maybe um, I can pick it up with a video. Working together is way more fun, fun on this project. But we are getting there. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for understanding the whole moving thing. <laughs> I wish all of you, all you over 100,000 uh, would be here and help me out. You know, if everybody grabs a box, we would be done in no time. <laughs> all right. So see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.